In this video, we're going to solve the palindrome number problem on lead code. So the problem says, given an integer x, return true if x is a palindrome and false otherwise. So for example, the number 121 is a palindrome because when you reverse it, it is still 121. 456 is not a palindrome because when you reverse it, it is 654. And that's not the original number. Also, negative numbers are not palindromic. If you have a number with the last digit being zero, it's not going to be a palindrome either. So we're going to discuss two different solutions, one using strings and the other one not using strings. So this is the solution that uses strings. It just converts the number x into a string and it just returns true or false if s is equal to its reversed version. Let's take a look at the second solution. So let's say x is 123. We're going to create two variables. One is original x and it's just the same number and the other one is num reverse and you'll see why we do this in a second. We're also going to create a table and we're going to fill this table up. So here x is 123. We want to get the last digit which is number 3. So the formula is just modulus by 10. That's going to give you 3. As for num reverse, I'm going to show you the formula. It won't make sense right away, but once we fill up this column, it will make sense. So the formula is you get 0, which is right here, num reverse is 0, times 10 plus the last digit 3. And that's going to give you 3. And then we get rid of the last digit. So we want to get rid of the number 3 in 123. So we floor divide by 10, and that's going to give us 12. We put 12 here. And then again, we get the last digit, which is 2. Then we get num reverse, which is 3. So we have 3 here times 10 plus the last digit, which is 2. And that's going to give you 32. And then we get rid of the last digit. So we floor divide 10, we get 1. Again, we put 1 here. We get the last digit, that's also 1. And then we get num reverse, which is 32 times 10 plus the last digit 1. And that's going to give you 321. And then we get rid of the last digit. So we end up with 0. So once you get 0 here, we're going to look at the final value in num reverse. And as you can see, 321 is not the same as the original x, which is 123. And this indicates that 123 is not a palindrome. Let's do one more example. So what if x is 121? You fill up this table, and once you reach 0, you look at the last value for num reverse, and you see that num reverse is 121 which is the same as the original x. And this indicates that 121 is indeed a palindrome number. So let's quickly talk about the pseudocode. While x is greater than 0, the last digit is just x modulus by 10, and the num reverse is just num reverse, and this num reverse is initially 0, times 10 plus the last digit. And then we get rid of the last digit, so just floor divide by 10. And after the while loop, x is going to be 0, and we just compare the original x with the num reversed. If x is negative, then it's not a palindrome number, so we just return false. If x is 0, and this is kind of a special case, then we know that 0 is a palindrome number, and we just return true. And from here on, we're only looking at positive numbers. So when x is positive, and x mod 10, which is getting the last digit, and the last digit is 0, then we also know it's not a palindrome number. We also copy x into original x and we make num reverse equal to 0. Then we just paste in the while loop and at the end we compare the original x to num reversed. And that's basically it for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also share this video.